one of the big things that, uh, one of the great problems, of course, we talk about, as I say, is here, what is the big deal about the Lord's Prayer? Why do we have to say the Lord's Prayer? It's not, it doesn't make sense. A lot of, you don't say it, you're much, most of the meetings you don't say it, most say it in uh, New Zealand, a lot of places, a few meetings that do, they're kind of eccentric. Because it's a, the argument is it's a Christian prayer, has nothing to do with Alcoholics Anonymous, and we shouldn't use it. It's too religious. That's why we say the serenity prayer, which is not religious. And it isn't religious. Except the Senator, uh, let, me read you, let me read you the serenity prayer. You might find this interesting. This is the serenity prayer by Reinhold Niebuhr in 1935. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as the pathway to peace, taking, as Jesus did, this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it. Trusting that Jesus will make all things right is to surrender to his will. That I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever the next. Amen. That's the serenity prayer. We have taken the first few lines and painted our prayer. But this is really a religious prayer. That's what you call a Christian prayer. The, uh, the Lord's Prayer, people, I always have to laugh, they say it's a Christian. It was given by a Jewish rabbi to 12 of his followers. And it has, never, has nothing to do with Christianity in itself. I, uh, I ran across a letter from Bill Wilson, written in 1959 on that subject, which I also brought with me. Be careful, I have my other pockets. <laughs> this was written April 14, 1959. This is from the archives in New York. Now about the business of adding the Lord's Prayer to each AA meeting. This practice properly came from the Oxford groups who were influential in the early days of AA. If you're probably noted in AA Comes of Age, the book, what the connection of these people with AA really was. I think saying the Lord's Prayer was a custom of theirs following the close of each meeting. Therefore, it has quite easily got shifted into a general custom among us. Of course, there are always those who seem to be offended by the introduction of any prayer, whatever, into an ordinary AA gathering. Also, it is sometimes complained that the Lord's Prayer is a Christian document. Nevertheless, this prayer is of such widespread use and recognition that the argument of its Christian origin seems to be a little far-fetched. It is also true that A's believe in some kind of God, and that communication and strength is obtainable through His grace. Since this is the general consensus, it seems only right at least the serenity, that at least the serenity prayer and the Lord's Prayer be used in conjunction with our meetings. It does not seem necessary to defer to the feelings of our agnostic and atheist newcomers to the extent of completely hiding our light under a bushel. However, around here, the leader of the meetings usually asks those to join him in the Lord's Prayer who, who feel they would care to do so. The worst that happens to the objectors is that they have to listen to it. This is doubtless a salutary exercise in tolerance at their steps of progress. So that's the sum of the Lord's Prayer business as I recall it. 